In this video, we will continue with inverse trigonometric functions. You will find this on page 205 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Let's look at another example. Using the special angles, so again it's the special angles, and without using a calculator. Very important. Write down in terms of by the value. Now, if you would have used a calculator, I would have said stop and put your calculator on radiant mode, but you're not going to use a calculator. Okay, so it's actually exactly the same. We just want to do it now in terms of radians. Okay, so if I give you this, so this is, is going to, um, okay, can I just interrupt myself? As soon as you see a square root 2, if you see square root 3, you think of the 30, 60 degree special triangle. If you see square root 2, you think of the 45 or the pi over 4. Okay, so, so this means the angle whose sign is this. Okay, so I'm looking for that angle. Uh, in the domain, don't forget, the domain is now, it was negative 90 to 90. Now it's negative pi over 2. And pi because 90 is pi over 2. Okay, restricted for this for a sign. Okay, so I start. So let's first go to the triangle. This is the 45, but it's pi over 4. And this is also pi over 4. It's exactly the same. 45, 45, it's an isos um, isosceles triangle. And then with Pythagoras, square root 2. Okay, now I first draw my cos diagram and I block out. And it's negative and it's positive. And now I say, where is sin negative? Sin is negative. There everything is positive. So it's there. So it's that angle. Now, I get my basic angle from... I want to... Sorry. Now suddenly it's becoming too small for me. So let me just make it a bit bigger. Okay. I get my basic angle because it's 1 over square root 2. So if I look... Um, what is sin? Sin is opposite over hypotenuse. It's, it's the same because opposite over hypotenuse. So it's going to be pi over 4. Okay, now this is pi and this is just in a negative direction and that's how I got it. Okay, so it's not so difficult. If you look at this one, now it's tan and it's 1. It means, now again I'm going to use the tan is opposite over adjacent, so it's 1. So my basic angle is also pi over 4. Tan is the same as sin. It's negative 90 to positive 90, so negative to positive. But now tan, there's a positive in front of the 1, so it's there. So it's just going to be positive pi over 4, and that's going to be your 1. Okay, very easy. Okay, I want you to stop the video and I want you to do I want you to do a cos again. Cos is a bit different than sin and tan because it's going 0 to 180. That is the principal value interval. I want you to do trino 53 number A and B. And again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Let's just go here and let's just start. Okay. I'm going to do this one very simple, not write a lot of things because it's actually very simple. Okay, I first going to say use special angles and without using a calculator, that's why, write down the grease. Now I see again it's the square root 2. So before I start with the question and I see again a 1, I'm just going to go for the 45 1. Now the 45 1 goes like this doesn't matter how you draw it, it's an isosceles triangle. And that's why, because it's isosceles, it's 1, 1, and you find this one, Pythagoras square root 2. And uh, I sometimes make the mistake, don't make the mistake. It's pi over 4. It's 45, and it's pi over 4. Pi over 4. But it's the same. So it's the same if you work from this angle or this angle. Now I start. Number A. And I have cos, and this is indicating the inverse, and this is indicating the ratio, and I want the angle. Okay, now, if it's cos, now I'm just going to quickly, before I start, I just want to first make my cos diagram. 
Now, don't forget that cos is different from sin and tan because it's 0 to 180. So the one blocked is there. Okay. And it's all positive. If I want, I can just do it all here, positive. Okay. Now, I, from the special triangle, I just get the basic angle. That's all I, I want from the special triangle. I just want to say, okay, cos, um, let's see, if I say pi over 4, cos is here, adjacent over hypotenuse, it's correct. Uh, because the basic angle, you don't have to put the sign in. Uh, so, because it's this, but that was giving me pi over 4. I'm looking for the pi. I'm looking for the angle. This is the sides because it's going to be adjacent over, but I'm looking for this basic angle. That's all I want from the special triangle. Now, I look at this sign. I say it's negative. It's, don't forget, the cos diagram is the same. Where is cos negative? Now, cos is positive there, because everything one is positive there. But cos is going to be negative here. And that angle is going to be, let's make it yellow, pi over 4. Okay. And I'm looking for this angle. So, it's going to be... In this case, it's going to be, okay, I can say it's going to be pi minus pi over 4. And that's going to be 3 quarters pi. And that's your answer. So this answer is 3 quarters. That's the angle. Okay, and that's how you do it. Let's look at number B. Again, I leave the triangle because it's 1, so it seems to me we are still at the same special triangle. And just clean this. I don't think we're going to need cos anymore because it's now tan. So let's look at number B. Again, this indicates the inverse function and I'm looking for the angle. This is the ratio. So I start and I make a cos diagram. And don't forget it's cos. Okay. I just want to get my pen correct. <laughs> Still not correct. Okay, now it's tan. And what is tan? Tan is going to be negative 90, positive 90. And who is blocked out? You are blocked out. Okay. From the special triangle, I just, I'm just interested in my basic angle. Now it's 1. Now let's look at tan. Tan pi over 4. And let's test if it's 1. Tan opposite over adjacent. 1 over, it's 1. Leave the sign first. It's 1. I'm looking for this. So it's pi over 4. Now I come to the sign. I say, is tan positive there or is tan positive there? Tan, all is positive there. So tan, I mean negative, I mean negative. Tan is negative here. And this is my special trial. It's pi over 4. But it's in this direction. So this answer will just be negative pi over. That's your final answer. And that's how you do it.